Okay, so let's go ahead and understand uh, the NAC or network admission control and how does it work. Guys, Web API security testing course is now available. You can go to the description box and get the link and register for the course. This course will teach you how to find out various bugs in various API in multiple different ways with hands-on practical. I wish you all the very best with your learning. So you might have seen like wherever you are in airport or maybe in railway station whenever you are trying to connect when uh, wi-fi connection so it basically get connected but later on it asks for some otp on your mobile number and then it allows you to access the internet for let's say 30 minute or maybe even one hour so that is one of the scenario of NEC. even in various colleges and even in hostel uh, you will notice that uh, you have a Wi-Fi network available and whenever you try to connect to that Wi-Fi network it basically asks you for some let's say uh, you know coupon code or maybe some student credential to access the internet for limited time period so that exactly is a NAC scenario or network admission control scenario so how does this NAC work basically so the first thing is typically it's not possible to verify each and individual user uh, using OTP value or maybe by making some authentication that's why they will have some automatic detection mechanism like uh, sometimes they will have some dissolvable agent like uh, they will validate based on a IP or maybe a particular MAC address sometimes they will also uh, verify it based on a VLAN ID or maybe a range of IP address for the simple understanding or even sometime you will get to see a captive portal so a captive portal is nothing but an you know portal which accept user id and password based from a particular user and based on the correct credential it will allow you to further connect to internet now how do you go about attacking the captive portal so there are multiple uh, way to look at it the first thing you can do is you can target the portal itself like guessing the user id password sometime you can perform brute force or maybe even try admin admin and it will give you access to the captive portal also you will have some time uh, pre-auth service available uh, with dscp or maybe dns so you can manipulate over there to get access to the network now also we have seen in past that um, by just by spoofing the mac like um, in uh, windows you have some uh, imac spoof application software available with, uh, also in uh, linux you, you can do that by using if config and hyphen eth0 specify the interface and then uh, specify a range of uh, mac address and you can basically perform the uh, captive portal bypass there is a cool tool that is called as cp scam so cp scam is really interesting it will basically spoof the mac address and give you access to the internet uh, from your captive portal now there are um, other ways also to identify various NAC vendor like, like sometimes they do OS verification or maybe sometimes you can spoof the user agent in simple term uh, by using some of the Chrome extension or maybe even Firefox extension like user agent switch and you can get access to the internet service even sometimes there are some of the JavaScript or OS validation as I said so you can uh, try some of the manipulation within JavaScript itself like the simple example as I said like sometime you will have access to Blackberry so on those days but yeah these days you will have some iOS device which are typically allowed for connecting to a specific um, IP address so that also you can try also you can basically manipulate the TCP uh, fingerprinting so I have already shown you like what are the different uh, flags available within TCP so you can basically change the packet size uh, which will basically change the OS in other way and Try give you access to the uh, access to the next system yeah there are some os masquerading attack also available like where you drop the reset packet so it's a little bit more complicated but uh, i just wanted to give you some theoretical idea about what exactly is a NAC and uh, how do you go about um, pen testing NAC so that you don't get surprised next time you heard about NAC or maybe go about uh, checking for uh, pen testing the NAC environment Again, this is just some theoretical idea. Uh, if you wanted to learn further, then you can Google and uh, learn various techniques. But I just have shared some of the learning from my sense. So I hope this will be helpful for you.